bring peace to the Bible. That's my charge to you today. We see in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9, Yeshua said, Blessed are the peacemakers, because they shall be called sons of Elohim. We're thinking about forming our view of Scripture. Always be a peacemaker. If your understanding of something in the second writings, what religion calls the New Testament, puts the second writings at war with the original Hebrew Scriptures, your interpretation is incorrect. Your understanding is a false understanding. The entire Bible must agree. Don't form your view, your opinion, on extremely difficult passages or on poetic passages that are hard to understand. We see over in 2 Peter chapter 3. Let's go over and look at that. 2 Peter chapter 3, starting with verse 14. So then, beloved ones, looking forward to this, do your utmost to be found by Him in peace, spotless and blameless, and reckon the patience of our Master as deliverance, as also our beloved brother Shaul wrote to you, according to the wisdom given to him, as also in all his letters, speaking in them concerning these matters, in which some are hard to understand, which those who are untaught and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do also the other scriptures. And so we find right here in this passage that there's this warning that some of Shaul's writings are hard to understand. And untaught people and unstable people twist the writings of Paul to their own destruction, as they do also the other scriptures. And so why do you go to these difficult passages and ignore everything else and try to form your opinion based on a difficult passage of Shaul or something that is poetry and you ignore the teachings of Yeshua. We already shared with you that if you don't Shema Yeshua, then you're going to be judged. And so what Yeshua says is paramount. Form your doctrine, your understanding, based on the teachings of Yeshua. And then make the other writings agree with Him. Some people want to form their understanding of the Father. And the Father's Son, the Son of Elohim and the breath of the Father, the Spirit of the Father, by going to passages like John 1, 1 through 14. Why not go to Yeshua and allow Yeshua to teach you who His Father is, who He is, and what the Spirit is, and then make the other writers agree with Yeshua. That's the way to bring peace to the Bible.